All right. So today on Newbie Vet, got a special guest. We got my dog in the building. We got Different. What's going on, folk? So first off, let's get into the name. Why the name Different? Well, because I don't want to be the be the same. I mean, you know, different is different does. Don't don't put me in the box. I feel different on different days, so it's gonna be different. Right. You know, my music. So that's basically where it comes from. So how you spell it? D i f f e r e n t. Okay. So it's just like regular different. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's different. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 So like, um, and how old were you when you came up with that name? For ah uh, man, I might have came up with that name maybe four years ago. Four years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So that so this, the name is four years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so um, so far as when people hear the name different, like what what type of what type of music do you want them to to embrace from hearing that name? Like you know, like what I mean by that, embrace like when you hear Snoop Dogg, they automatically affiliate. When you think of Snoop, what you think of? I think of Snoop Dogg. You know, the regular Snoop, like you say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's Snoop. Snoop. Yeah. So, so you think of Eminem? What you think? Something. Rambunctious, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, like a different yeah. thing. So when you think of different, you know, what what do different bring? That's different. Man, yeah, you you don't know what to expect from me. I I don't wrote pop, rap, R and B, whatever come to mind, whatever whatever I'm feeling. You never know. Right. So you grew up on like a different musical background. I grew like, up like your family was in different, like listening to different types of music. Man, my folks they they used to play gospel a lot around the house. You know, uh, my brother was in the, my oldest brother was in the music, like, big. And, you know, back in his era, that came with all the, the Luke and, you know, 69 boys, all that. So your brother was a performer first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My brother Mike, he introduced me to Scarface, all of that, man. So who, he was in the group? Yeah. What was the name of the group? His group was, uh, I remember the label was Trump Type. Trump Type. Now, yeah. I remember the exact group name. But he put me and my brother Jay in a group. We used to be the uh, junior for 430 boys. So how were you with that? Oh, man, I had to be about 16. 16. 15, 16, yeah. So, so your experience, like, when you first getting on, like, first of all, let's go into the beginning. So you're originally from? Augusta, Georgia. Augusta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay, born and raised. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, we're, like, we were raised on what street you were raised, like, your most memory? I was born on 1520 Heard Avenue, right under the bridge from Olive Road. Right. So I grew up. From Minute Park to Olive Road. That's my area. That's my okay. stuff ground. How was that area was back then? Like you growing up, like it was is it different now? Or is it kind oh of yeah, it's same? different now, man. Them man, them youngsters tearing it up, man. <laughs> them youngsters tearing it up, bro. So what you mean tearing it up? I mean it was different. Back then, you know, we, we did our little thing, hustle, you know, we had we had the women, you know, doing yeah. our little thing. Now you can get shot over the block. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So do you feel like the the young ones are a lot more a lot more dangerous than they were back then. Because even back then, we was the dangerous ones to the older people. So now it's like the it's like the new age, the new the, the new ones coming out. So they're a lot more violent. Or you think it's kind of the same cycle? It's kind of the same cycle. It's just they took it up a notch. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Like we we had things happen, but we had balanced tiles. You know. Now, back then, put it this way: you can get into a fight. Next week, you might be cool with that person. You yeah, know what I'm true. saying? That's true. That's true. Nine days, you get into a fight, you got to be worried about somebody coming to shoot you. Shoot the house uh, up. Uh, yeah, shoot the house up or uh, shoot up the car uh, with you and your babies in there, all type of stuff. Up. You know what I'm saying? The mentality is like totally different. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I just see that. Yeah. What do you think? Why do you think that mentality is different now? Do you think it's because of uh, technology? Uh, where it's like now it's more accessible for people to watch violence and, 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 and impersonations of violence everywhere. Or do you feel like it's just people, it's still people's surroundings where they're growing up at? Or do you feel like it's a mixture of both? I think it's a mixture of both. And people don't understand, you know, just as well as it's good in the world, it's evil too. Facts. And, and that evil just running more and more rampant. Facts. Everything done been amped up. Facts. You know what I mean? That's why so much going on, like by the time you, Look this way, look that way. This and that be nothing happen, you know. Like, right. yeah, it's just the way it is. And I'm glad you said that because speaking of, like, I would try to tell people like, there's a world can't ex this world can't exist without evil. I hate to say it like that or bad. It can't exist because it would disrupt the balance of life. Mm. You got to have a bad day and you got to have a good day. Mm -hmm. Can't just mm -hmm. be all good because you wouldn't you 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 wouldn't have no it wouldn't be no emotion behind anything mm -hmm. because you'd never lost anything to attach emotion to something when you finally get it back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I 
So that balance has to be there. So I feel like as people, as in, in general, we always got to look at the, we always pay attention to the good side because that's all we want is the good mm. side. We want the money. We want to be rich. Mm -hmm. We want to be famous. We want to be, you know, have financial support for our families and stuff like that. But it's so many other evilness that comes with that, mm -hmm. you know. So, do, that. do you feel like when you were sixteen, um, coming in the game? Do you? Uh, what was your feeling like? Like when you, when you when he uh, put you in the group at that age, and what was your emotion and stuff at that time? I oh, man, I was just young. I was into the music, but you know, I, I was also young, so I did young man things, you know. Uh, my, the passion grew. That, that comes straight from my brother. My oldest brother, Mike, you know, he used to leave me and my brother home. You know, he had a he had a big record collection. All we used to do was go through music, man. Ghetto Boys, uh, UGK. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? All that, man. Oh, like, yeah. So the passion came from him. But just being able to record. Like, he always had to set up, had people to record us and, uh, you know, studio here and there. And I love to do it since then. Grew up doing it, been doing it all this time for years. Right, yep. right, right. Okay, okay. So, um, what were some of the some of the things you remember, like back in those days, doing the music that you you do, that you still go by today? Oh, man, uh, some of the things I remember, I, really everything, man. Like I remember the the, the rough times. You know, uh, I'm I'm the youngest sibling out of five. So, you know, I, I seen a lot from them. You right. know, and then when you, I, anytime you walk out the house, you basically in the streets. Learned a lot from the streets. Man, we are, we are a close-knit family. So, you know, like, I, I, it was a balance. It was a balance, you know. But one thing that came straight, though, man, is I, I kept a relationship with, with the man upstairs, man. Stayed tuned in with him. So, you know, I always thought for myself and, you know, never been a follower. Right. So, I just, you know, I just soak, soak things in. Take, take things a day at a time, you know. And take it how it comes. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, never no, no wild out cat, no thug, no, no. Call myself gangster, none of that. I'm just, I'm Joe. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Just another human being, you know. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So these days now, as far as like you know, cause you said it's, it has got rough, as far as with the mm -hmm. youth and all that. So like, it got to a point where it's like you have to have a pistol with you or. Some type of thing. Do you feel like you have to have a pistol, or is just the way that you? It's the the lifestyle, the energy that you put out. That what you feel about that? I think it's the lifestyle and energy you put out, but things also come your way. Also, that's true. So I advise you to keep you something with you. Yeah, or some type of protection. Yeah, some type of protection. Yeah, not saying you got to go and and just wild out and just right, you know right right. But for protection, right. That's it. Right. People ain't even got to know that you got it. Until that's, time, yeah, you know what I mean. Time. So yeah, exactly. that's how I feel. Right, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So far as um music, man, like uh, what are some of the musicians that you grew up listening to? Oh my goodness, man, where do I start? Man, uh, I like Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye, the Heisman mm. Brothers. Mm. Oh man, Cameo, mm. Zap, Roger. Mm. I mean, I, I get to do the whole interview getting mm. names now. <laughs> you know, for his rap, you know, no, no limit, death row, mm. bad boy, or oh man, the the older ones or quiet. So, so speaking of rap, back so mm -hmm. you watch verses. I watch some of it. Some of it. Mm -hmm. Who you think will win in a no limit versus Cash Money? Oh man. I don't know, man, because that work ethic, no limit work ethic is out of this world. Right. But I think Cash Money had more hits. So, I mean, that, that would, I can't say, bro. I said, my, you know, um, me, Master P had a lot of, had a lot of work. Had yeah. like, he had quantities of work. Mm -hmm. All of them wasn't hits. Mm -hmm. uh, but Cash Money had hits. Hits, yeah. And, a lot of them. And then a lot of them still relevant to this day. Mm -hmm. You don't really have a no limit person that was still with, that was with no limit that still rap to this day. True. Like, that, I mean, they still rap, but they're not relevant. True. Like, Cash Money, he's still mm -hmm. signing people. The mm -hmm. last person he had, what, what, Jacquees, I think? Or, yeah. And he hitting too. Yeah, yeah. You know hitting. what I'm saying? Drake, Nicky. Yeah. 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 Young Money. 
Yeah. So I have to give it the cash money as far as when it comes to a versus battle. I'm going to have to agree with that. Because, like, yeah. you know, low, No Limit music kind of stopped mm -hmm. at a certain time period, but cash money. Still going. Drake hits, mm -hmm. Nicki hits. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Ain't stop. Ain't stop. I don't think it's fit to stop. Stop. <laughs> so yep. I think that'll be a tough match. Who you think will win out of So So Deaf and Bad Boy? Now, that's a tough one. Man. Once again, I think Bad Boy got more hits. I don't know now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know now. So everybody hey, look. sleeping on Jermaine now. No, I ain't sleeping on JD. <laughs> look, look, look now. At one point in time, JD was that guy. So think about the it. So, so think of, all right, Chris give, me, give me 10 Bad Boy hits. I can't do that off the back, man. Can't do it off the back. Well, give me five Bad Boy hits. Uh, see what it is. Cupid. Uh, More Money, More Problems. Juicy. What's another one? Uh. Total. What, what's that song they had out? Uh, kissing You. Yeah, Kissing You. And then another bigger joint, uh, One More Chance. One More Chance. Yeah. All right. So now give me five. So forgot about up. Mace. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you got a lot. So, mm -hmm. so you think of the, all right, we think of the bad boy artist. Puff Daddy worked with Mace. Yeah. So you got, I mean, you got Mace hits. You got Shine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shine. Remember oh, Shine? Man. Yeah. You got G Depp. Yep. Black Rob. Yep. Faith Evans. Yep. Biggie Smalls. And the Jenny, the group we had with Block, yeah, too, with yeah, G's uh, and all that. Boys in the Hood. Mm -hmm. Jock. Yeah. Young Jock. Mm -hmm. So uh, then you got the the female groups, Dirty Money. Yeah. Danny, yeah. Was it Danny? Danny Kane. Danny Kane. Yeah. Kane. That R&B uh, group. The R&B group. The Those kids. Day 26. Yeah. Day 26. Mm -hmm. You got yeah. Mary J. Blige. Yeah, so, man. Hey. So you got a lot now. Yeah. You yeah. got a lot. Yeah. But you go to Social Dev. But he also had Usher. You got Usher. You got Usher. Your Social Dev, you got Usher. No. No. That was Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy had him first. Yeah, Puff Daddy had him first. But both of them had both him, Both of them had him. Yeah. They worked with him. Yeah. So, 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 Dev, you got the Brat. Yeah. You got Criss Cross. Yeah. You got Bow Wow. Yeah. You got Usher. Yeah. You got Mariah Carey. Yeah. You got Janet Jackson. Man. You got, like, you got the hit, you got Skate. Look, you got Skate. Old. You got one, Frank. One I grew up on was the, um, remember the Young Boys, Aisha. Aisha. Yeah. Oh, you talking about ABC? ABC, yeah. ABC. Yeah. That was by, uh, Rob, uh, Michael Michael Bibbins. Oh man. From uh from New Edition. You know, he had a record label. That's all, bro. So he signed ABC, um, Boys the Men. Yeah, man. So he had tough That's look, a hard tough look. look. He also produced, you know, like artists, songs for them. Yeah, he need to produce songs yeah. and stuff like that. So That's a hard one, man. I, I can't yeah. answer that one now. So yeah. So far as with the music, so like you you are rapper, singer, songwriter, mm -hmm. and producer? Now, I'm not a producer at this point, but I'm, I'm learning that. Well, I mean, so like, what I mean by producer, like, you know, there's two forms of the, when in the music, you got the producer, like the person, like, like arrangement. Okay. Like, you might have a person, like, okay, you might can't play the notes of the key, but you arranged it. Like, okay, I arranged, yeah. you arranged it, I, I want a guitar here, put the guitar there. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yes, yes. So you're a producer. Yes. Yes. You, know yes. you might just like, uh, Puff Daddy didn't make, didn't make all those beats. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Like he I had, had he had, input. uh, what's the boy name? Uh, the dude, uh, Stevie J. Yeah. He had them boys making beats and other stuff like that. Okay. So, um, like DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled don't make beats. Okay. I get you. I yeah, get you're you. Yeah. You saying it like that? Yeah. But he's yeah, a I producer. I guess I am a producer. Yeah. But he's a producer. Mm -hmm. So, um, get it, but it's like I said, then it's a music producer. Yeah. Music producer is the person that actually make the music. Yeah. You want to put it like that? Yeah, yeah. I am a producer. So that was yeah. saying, so you're a producer. Okay, mm. cool, cool, cool. All right, so and you're gonna add more, add more tags to that, huh? Of course, man. So what other things you trying to get into? Oh, uh, I'm trying to get into acting, man. Okay. Uh, just for us, this music right now. You know, I just got with the team, TSP. Right. Thank y'all, boy, for embracing me. Oh yeah. But um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take it slow, man. I'm, I'm gonna do my music, get into acting. And I mean, like whatever. I mean, whatever comes with it, man. Like right, right. I can't just just give you the layout right now because you know you are you take it day by day. Yeah, day by day, pretty fair, much. Fair, you know? fair, fair. Okay, okay, fair, cool, cool. Do cool. what I can, man. Whatever the Lord allow me to. Right, right, right. So far as um out of all the music that you done created, um, what is that one song that all that you always go to and play that touches you all the time? Believe it or not, I don't have that one song. You don't have that one yet? But I try to do it all of them. You try to do it all of them? Mm-hmm. So that, that, that song, one. No, that song you talking about, I don't even think I've done it yet. Mm. You know? I like that honesty. Honestly, you know what I mean? I like that honesty, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was up.
So man, what you think about the uh you, you watched the uh the Oscars? I watched part of it. Yeah. I seen the slap. Yeah, the slap. <laughs> yeah. So what you thought about the Will Smith Chris Rock incident, man? Man, uh uh he felt the need to do it. I don't think that was the right place to. Yeah. Because if you you know, if y'all talk behind the scenes of all these events, you know, you felt some type of way, you could have handled it that. I mean, right. that way. Right. That's me. But that's just like, okay, I know a lot of kids, a lot of people might look up to what we do. So I do have to watch the message that I bring or, right. or what I put out there. Right. Now, some some stories I give, these are things that happened, that went on, and that's just 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 raw, rugged as it is. But something like that, man, like if I'm if I'm going somewhere with a suit on, man, I ain't trying to get in a scuffle yeah, with nobody. nobody. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm, I'm there for this reason. After that, we trying to toast to it and, right. you know, right. let that be. Man. Right, right, right. I don't see that with, I don't see that in country or nothing like that. Why, why is it always, you know, with us? Right. You know, we, it's always a divide with us. Yeah. All the it's beefing always, and all that, you know? It's always, man, it's, you know. Cause, you know, we, we, we always known as the ones that do the trouble, troublemakers, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't want to just do evenness in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we, you know how But we is. get put out there like that. Oh, yeah. You know? So. Oh, yeah. But, you know, looking on both sides, like, from, um, from being a black, black guy for all these years, my life, <laughs> you know, you know, you, there's a point in time where you gotta look at some of our black people like, okay, we gotta change some things mm -hmm. in order for us to be treated different. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta treat each other different first in order for us to work together in order to stand up against bullshit like that, you know, that be going on in America. Police brutality, you know, injustice, all types of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of stuff in America that has, that has to change first. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? For anything, you know, that's what I feel, and I feel like black people as a race need to eliminate a lot of stereotype thing because it don't be the, it don't be the other races that put the stereotypes on us. It be us putting the stereotypes on yeah. us because yeah. we feel like this person or this person needs to be this way mm -hmm. or this way. Or you don't pick on this person so much now they want to change their image or now they trying to become this way. Yeah. So there's so many things that I feel like we need to fix as a whole first in order for us to be a whole. That's understandable. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yeah, because we too separated. Yeah, I agree. A divided yeah. house can't stand. Facts. You know, yeah, so. that, that's facts, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's facts. So, man, um, so uh, what are some movies? He's because uh, you said acting. So, what mm -hmm. are some movies that you grew up like watching that you know? That, <laughs> oh you man, know? my fate Look, my favorite movie is Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Yeah. That was left field. <laughs> Howard the Duck or Howard the Duck? Yeah, man. Howard the Duck, man. Okay, Howard the Duck is a classic. Man, I used to watch Grease, all of that, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like Grease, John Travolta. Man, man Crush Groove. Uh, Crush Groove, okay. Blair Underwood. That's, it, it's so many, man. Yeah, okay. So many. Okay. Mm -hmm. Music changed a lot from Crush Groove, too. Yeah, yeah. From, from a whole lot. That's a whole lot. That's yeah. crazy, man. Def Jam been running a long race. A long <laughs> race, man. Long race. Mm-hmm. And the, and the music, the music business is kind of still the same, man. They still operate kind of the same as far as mm -hmm. with artists. Artists are still getting screwed over and stuff like mm. that. But, um, TSP. Oh, yeah. Them, them my boys, man. Shout out to J Real, the Track Slayer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out, out Jake. Wilo. Shout out BB. Oh, yeah. Shout, shout out, out shout Honey, out. Honey yeah. Bear, the whole, the whole camp. So, man, how you wind up linking, linking with them? Cause, you know, um, we all connected. They connected mm -hmm. with CTC. We all like one chain. Oh, yeah. So how you wind up getting connected with TSP? Uh, me and my wife and my, my newborn was at the hospital. He had an appointment. And you know, I seen Giz. And he asked me flat out, like, you still doing the music? I was like, yeah. You know what I mean? So he was telling me about the, the team. And he was like, hit him up. Right. We exchanged numbers. I called him. We were talking. He introduced me to uh, Jay first. So, you know, went to Jay. Uh, we went over his house. It was like an interview, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I understand because you just can't have anybody yeah, on yeah. the team. Yeah. I played some of my tracks for them. You know, they were digging it. And Jay was like, red pill, blue pill. I was like, man, give me the blue pill, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you with the Morpheus. Yeah. So okay. yeah, after that, man, it, what, maybe a few days later, man, it took me to to Big Low. You know what I'm saying? We locked in. Shout out Low. Low was handy, man, but... We locked in, and from there, man, me and Lowe been in the studio damn near every every day or every other day. 
You know what I'm saying? Them boys embraced me. Y'all embraced me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I felt no no bad energy, no bad vibes, and nothing like that. Oh, yeah. Most of bro. Like, in the music, like I'm into it. Right, right. So, you know, you have to be around people who, who's into the same things you are. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, I just, I'm grateful, man. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's a good people to be with, good oh, team yeah. to be with, man. Oh, yeah. They love it. They very creative. They did. They just, you know, want a lot of people to be on the same wave as far oh, yeah. as we all do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That you know, that's the thing with dealing with artists. A lot of people, um, they they don't be appreciative about the opportunities that they mm -hmm. have. You know, whether it's big or small, to them it might be small. Yeah. But not knowing the the magnitude of how much the impact you can make from stuff. A hit can come from a, a, a attic, a basement, mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. A hit is a hit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm no matter where it come from. But, you know, I think people mentality, uh, they want that microwave success. The instant. The instant yeah. success. They want it to happen so fast. Mm -hmm. So it's like they want to go for the big names. Yeah. So they overlook smaller names or smaller record labels or whatever. Yeah. You yeah. know, because they feel like, okay, if I join a brand that's already popping, I get on fast. Mm -hmm. Might work. Might not work. Yeah. But why not join something where you can get all the attention put on you because y'all growing company. together. Yeah. You feel me? You're mm -hmm. growing together. Besides, mm -hmm. if you're jumping on a brand that already got names is popping, mm -hmm. there's no way in hell you finna top those names. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I so yeah. best you you know, I gotta tell people it's best to build your build your build your your house. Yeah. You know, you know, by yourself. Yeah. Or with a team, yeah, you know, yeah. that's that's on the same way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, that's what's up, I man. Agree. So before we slide off on newbie vet, man, um, how can they get in contact with you, man? Is there any love you like to shout out? Any who? Any love? Man, I like to shout out love to to everybody, bro. Be honest with you, man. Right. It, it ain't. It, it's too much hate going on. Oh yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Be I just shout out my people, of course. You know what I'm saying? I love us. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I feel like. Man, shout out my kids, shout out Team TSP, man, my, my wife, man, just everyone, man, everybody who need that. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty right. much. Right. 